Once upon a time, in a little village, there lived a very beautiful girl named Ulima. She was the most beautiful girl in the village, and all the maidens envied her. Ulima was very respectful, and she was her parents' pride. Her parents treated her like a princess, as she was their only child. Although Lima was adopted, her parents never maltreated her and she never gave them any reason to do so. Because of Ulima's uncommon beauty, all the young men in the village admired her and wished to marry her. Rumor even had it that she had captured the heart of the young prince. One of the men in the village named Okadi, who was a hunter, asked for Ulima's heart in marriage. But Ulima turned him down because of how he had been seen with several women. Okadi couldn't cope with the rejection and so he made a bet with his friends that he was going to teach her a lesson. One day, when Ulima's parents were going to the farm, she asked to follow them, but her parents refused and insisted that a beautiful girl like her ought to be treated like a princess and not to stress herself in the farm. Ulima smiled and promised to make food for them before they returned and also asked them to bring some bush meat when returning and her parents agreed and they left. When her parents had gone, Ulima shut the doors and began to cook. When all of a sudden, she heard a knock on the door and it was Okadie the hunter. Ulima asked what he wanted and he said he wanted to talk to her. Ulima refused to open the door because she was aware of Okadie's bet to tarnish her image. When Okadie realized that Ulima was not going to open the door, he asked her for some water, but Ulima told him that there was no water at home and that she had not gone to the river to fetch any. He asked for some palm wine and Ulima told him that a woman does not tap palm wine. Okadie felt embarrassed because his ego had been wounded and he decided to pay her back immediately. He ran to her parents in the farm with his friend and told them that their daughter was busy harboring men in their own house. His friends also told them that what Okade said was true and that he saw her with the men also. With so much disappointment and anger, Uliman's parents ran home and without hearing her side of the story, they started beating her and in the process, they injured her. People gathered in their house. Some of them were pleading with her parents, while others were laughing, especially those that were jealous of her. Ulima knew she was adopted, but never had her parents done something of such before. And she passed out in the process and some villagers quickly rushed her to the herbalist for proper treatment. The news of the incident spread through the village and a meeting was called by the elders. Both Ulima, her parents and Okadi were summoned and they were asked to say exactly what happened. Okade repeated the lies he had told Ulima's parents, and Ulima's parents repeated what Okade had said. 
when Ulima heard the allegation. She was shocked and she began to cry and she expressed disappointment for her parents for believing such a lie from Okadi. The elder said that the only way to know who was telling the truth was that they would each have to swear. Ulima assured everyone that she was innocent and wrongly accused, but they all insisted that they should all swear. The conditions were that if truly Ulima was innocent, something bad would happen to her parents and Okadi. But if she was guilty, something bad would happen to her. When her parents heard this, they started reflecting on what they had done. And they told the elders that they were sorry for believing Okadi over Ulima. Ulima's parents went to meet her and started begging for her forgiveness. The people were surprised and the elders told Okade to say the truth. Because of Okade's pride and ego, he insisted that he was saying the truth and he was asked to swear. He took the cola note from the plate and swore. Few moments later, he fell on the ground with his friend and they became paralyzed. When the people saw this, they were shocked and Okade started begging for forgiveness, but it was too late. He never recovered from his paralysis even after seeking help from different herbalists. Ulima forgave her parents after a series of begging and they never adopted her again. This is the end of this story. Thank you for listening to this story. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video and also comment where you are watching from below. We love and appreciate you. Bye.